WBIR 10 News reporter Mark Salinger shows us how East Tennessee is promising never to forget the victims. Mark. Brennan and Beth, while the homicide rate in Knoxville is down 35% this year, one person killed is one too many. Some families are now learning how to live without their son, their daughter, or their parents. This is a club no one wants to be a part of. Through the tears and pain, they comfort one another. Only they understand what the others are going through. It's, it's still hard to believe. Even though it's been over a year, I still can't believe my nephew was gone. Everyone here has lost a loved one to gun violence, murder, or another crime that ended a life far too early. It's just every second of the day we miss him. Susan Taylor is learning to live without her son Cameron, killed just over a year ago. He lit up a room when he came in. He was funny. He was uh, loving. He was beautiful. He was just everything. Cameron's life was taken from him over less than $100 worth of marijuana. He was shot and killed while driving on Emory Road in Powell in October of 2017. It's comforting that I know that I'm not the only one that has gone through this horrible thing. Today, his family hung an ornament with a picture of him from his final birthday on a tree filled with other faces of victims. We were at the dining room table and he had his cake in front of him and stuff. And that's about the best picture so far we have of him. One by one, the families hunt ornaments. It's an indescribable pain, like a pain I've never felt before. A promise to never forget those who have lost their lives. It, it feels good to know that there's other people that's going through it and we're not the only ones.